All right, today we are going around Santiago and we're looking for Freemasons. That's right, Freemasons. So come along. Before we do that, I just want to say real quick thank you very much for watching the video. Click the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. It's free, it's easy, and it will help the channel grow and help this content reach other YouTube viewers. All right, back to the video. So why are we out looking for Freemasons? Well, on one of the videos I made, I think it was the video about Jose de San Martin, maybe? Somebody left a comment on that video and said uh, that, uh, that Jose de San Martin and some of the other like liberators, famous liberators of South America, like Simon Bolivar and uh, I think Bernardo O'Higgins from Chile, that they were like Freemasons, right? You know, the uh, famous, uh, infamous secret society of Freemasons. Not really so secret because we're actually literally going to go to a museum, uh, a, a Masonic, like a Mason museum. Uh, but it, it piqued my interest. And when I found out that there was this museum and it was like nearby, I figured we'd go check it out and see if we can make a video about uh, the Masons and like the history of the Masons, specifically in like the liberation of South America. Now, before we get really like deep into this video, I do want to say, uh, the, the more you like research into, and the more I researched into Masons, the, the more you get conflicting sources going in every which direction. It's a very old society, uh, and it's a relatively secretive society. And so, of course, like, there is, uh, there's just conflicting sources all over the place. And I would find, while I was doing research, like, what seemed like pretty reputable sources that would conflict with each other. I would say, oh yes, this person was a Mason. Oh no, they were not a Mason. You know, and then of course you get all kinds of, um, like, conspiracy theories and whatnot as well. So there are a wealth of sources, and they all seem to conflict each other. And just in general, when I'm making these videos, I'm really only doing like a very surface level, like Wikipedia level of research, just to sort of like kind of know what I'm talking about and what I'm looking at and what I'm like going to see. So, what am I trying to say? Basically, like most of this is probably gonna be wrong. And even if it is wrong or right, like no one's gonna be able to prove whether it's wrong or right because like all the sources conflict with each other. And either way, like, like most videos, I'm probably not really gonna know what I'm talking about. That's what you get with one of my videos, so. Let's go check out this museum. Actually, on the way there, though, so, one of the things that I found when I was doing the research was uh, that there is, like, a lodge that it's disputed whether or not it was a mason lodge. Now, like, a, a lodge is basically just like a, a gathering, a group of, uh, you know, members, right, of the Masons, who would like gather together and talk about stuff. And when the liberators of uh, South America were planning liberation, especially, specifically like Bernardo O'Higgins and Jose de San Martin, so they formed an anti-colonial organization called Lautaro Lodge. And, uh, or in Spanish, Logia Lautaro. And of course, Lodge is the same nomenclature that like Masons would use for their organizations. They're like chapters in different regions. So there is uh, like a lot of speculation that this was a Mason Lodge and that all of these, uh, these uh, you know, liberators of South America who were planning anti-colonial activities and liberation activities in this lodge, that they were uh, that they were masons, but there's like I said, conflicting sources. But some of the members of that lodge were, of course, Jose de San Martin, who we've talked about a lot, and also Bernardo O'Higgins, who uh, were actually walking along Avenida Libertador Bernardo O'Higgins, right here, the street named after him here in Santiago, Chile. So, this Lautor, Lautaro Lodge, um, there were other members too, famous um, names, famous in Chile that I keep seeing around here. Juan McKenna was one of them. And uh, interestingly, 
you see you see names like um, Simon Bolivar also, who's not from Chile, but you see them mentioned along with uh, Masons as well. Now, like I said, who knows? Who knows if they were Masons or not? Maybe they were, maybe they weren't. But um, regardless, one of the things that we do have here in Santiago, Chile, is uh, a Mason Museum. And I think we're gonna go check that thing out and just see what's inside. Um, it seems like it's gonna be kind of small, but maybe there's some stuff in there that'll give us a little insight as to like, you know, what we're talking about here. All right, we're back at the museum. Different day, different shirt. And uh, the museum is open because the museum was closed actually when we showed up. But I'm told that it is open today. The gates are open. Looks like there's people going in. And what I noticed is, this is not only the museum, but this is El Gran, no, La Gran Logia de Chile, the Grand Lodge of Chile. So this is like the Mason, Mason Lodge of Chile, as well as a museum. Pretty cool. Let's go in and check it out. Okay, so we're in the museum. The guy at the front desk actually said, no, it's closed. I said, wait, wait, but someone told me that it would be open today. And then he made a call and they said, oh yeah, it's open. So we're here. Well, here it is. It's downstairs inside the lodge. And there it is. Masoneria Universal. Universal Masonry. Cool. This is this is all in Spanish, so of course, like most places we visit, we're gonna understand less than 50%, maybe more. I always understand more when I go back on the video and I can actually take the time to read everything, but in the moment, I understand very little. But let's see what we can see. Benvenida, welcome. Museum, Mason Museum, Grand Lodge of Chile this was uh, started here in 1911. Governor, under the governor, government of Grand Maestro Victor Guillermo Ewing. Hmm, okay. In 1920, there was oh, a fire in 1920 that destroyed a good big part of the museum's collection. 1938, the official existence of the museum. Wait, no, is that right? Okay, well, I'm not going to spend any more time reading this, now, unfortunately. Uh, I, could, I could stand here for like 20 minutes and read that and probably understand what it said, but that would be boring for the video. So let's see what they have. Now, of course, like, these look like Mason, maybe ceremonial things. Well, these do at least over here. And of course, you know, the word around about the Masons is that their ceremonies are very secretive. So it's interesting that these things are here. Caliz de Amargura, Amargura Fraternitas. Hmm. You know, like I was talking about before, there's, there's a lot of question about who actually was a Mason and who wasn't a Mason. And whether the uh, the uh, logia lauterna, the lodge that uh, Jose de San Martin and Bernardo Higgins were a member of, whether that was actually a Mason lodge or not, and uh, oh, <laughs> here you go, <laughs> Masonería and America Latina. Oh, and there he is, right there, San Martin, and let's see, that's. Well, wait a minute. Let me see if I recognize. I think this is San Martin or Higgins. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell with the uh, with paintings, right? But yeah, the historiographia, historiography, historiography actual identifies ideologies and artifices that were of the Freemasons, Jose de San Martin and Carlos de Mar Does, Are they saying that they were Masons? Is this an official an official sign inside the Mason Museum saying that Jose de San Martin was, was a Mason? 
we'll have to we'll have to read this. We'll read this in the when I edit the video, and we'll see. But man, that's like that's that's a picture of him. This was interesting. Espada rota, a broken sword. Doesn't represent. Doesn't represent victories and defeats. It represents an invitation to the peace. Once again, my Spanish fails me. What else is new? Right? Hans F. Bolton. Hans F. Bolton. He's got a nice mustache on that guy. Some mason plates. Symbolic plates. Tercer grado simbolico. Segundo grado simbolico. Y primer grado simbolico. Okay, because now what I have learned is that masons, like you're you're a member of the masons, you're, you're a certain grade. There's like different levels. First grade, second grade, third grade. Maletes alemanes. Malete de Frederico el Grande. So Mason Mallet. And these are German. They're made in Berlin. It says right there. Alemanes is, means German. Garcia Mandil. What's a Mandil? Looks kind of like a some sort of ceremonial. I don't know. It looks kind of like a bib, but I know it's not a bib, is it? Is it actually a bib? Are they like wearing bibs and eating messy food? No, that can't be. Well, whatever it is, I don't know what Mandil means in Spanish. Unfortunately, maybe someone can let me know. Gran Logia de Chile. So here it is, Gran Logia de Chile. And let's see, looks like it's part of the formation process of the lodges in Chile. They, there was a group in, that formed in Valparaiso and some other ones. Wait, what is this? Masons, Brit British and North American Masons, a letter from the Grand Lodge in Massachusetts created a lodge, no, uh, the Lod Grand Lodge of Bethesda in Maryland, I guess. Mm, I don't quite understand all of this, but here, Alfines de 1862, La Gran Logia de Chile, obtiene el Reconocimiento Internacional, so it was recognized internationally in 1862. It's quite a long time ago. Oh, here we go. Here's a model of like the temple. Um, so this, this is probably like, I mean, if this is like the lodge, the Gran Logia of Chile is in this building, then like there, this room <laughs> might actually like be in this building. I'm sure we can't go in there. We're not a mason. So obviously they're not going to let us in there. But pretty cool, right? Some mallets. Union Fraternal Numero Uno. 150 años. 150 years. The Grand Lodge of Chile. Now this one says 1853, but it says over here it wasn't recognized until 1862. I guess they're using this date. Yeah, yeah 1853, 27th of July. Yeah, 27th of July, 1853. Okay, so maybe 27th of July, 1853 is when they found it here, and then it wasn't like recognized until like nine years later but it is now internationally recognized 
Grand Lodge. Here's some more uh, Mandil, Mandiles. I still, I, I don't know what, what a Mandil is. I imagine it's just sort of some sort of ceremonial, you know, like they wear it during ceremonies or something. Gran Logia de Chile. Grandos Maestros. Oh, okay. El Gran Maestro is El Jefe Supremo de la Fran... Fran... Franc Masoneria. So the, the big boss. And these are all the different ones. From 1862. Juan de Dios Arley Gordabea. Let's see if there's any names we recognize. Well, Godoy. Recognize that name, but that's just a surname. Recognize that, of course, from the town of Godoy Cruz, south of Mendoza in Argentina, where we were. Hmm. Well, so this is the current one right here. Sebastian Hans Perez. 2022 to 2026. Oh, and he was from 2018 to 2022. He's so popular that they re-elected him again. I don't know if they're elected. They must be, right? I bet all the, all the Masons, they get together in this room over here. Or like the actual room that this is a model of. They all vote. They're wearing these things while they're voting. And then someone takes one of these mallets and hits it on something. And so, so it is declared. That's my guess. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Ooh, some more mallets. These are cool. This one's made out of crystal. That seems like... I don't know. It seems like not a very functional mallet. It's made out of crystal. You smack it too hard and it just shatters. It's Mascarilla de Fidel Muñoz. Gran Maestro de la Gran Logia de Chile en 1935. 1935. There he is. He's a uh, formidable looking gentleman. Plates. Espada de Sotero del Rio. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's for, but it's very, very cool looking. Oh man, look at the handle. The handle is like two people hugging. And the, and the, the, the uh, what's it called? It's all, it's all, it's all people. I can't remember the name of like the, you know, the thing that blocks the, the, your hand from going up on the blade. What's that called? The hilt. The hilt is uh, is like people also. It's pretty cool. Look at these guys. These must be other Gran General. Oh, wait a minute. That's, yeah, that's Jose de San Martin. Del Libertador. General San Martin, that's him. There's a bust of him. Okay, so look. We've been told varying, or we've read, varying different sources saying that San Martin was a Mason, San Martin wasn't a Mason. And saying for like Higgins and Carrera, a lot of these other guys, very famous in South American, especially in, in, in Argentina and Chile. But here, I think we have enough evidence that San Martin and uh, and probably O'Higgins too, because they're mentioning him here on this sign. Hmm. O'Higgins y Blanco en Calcada. What does this mean? Okay, so this is the guy, Jose Miguel Carrera. So that's like the other father of of Chilean independence, basically. These are the guys. Bernardo O'Higgins and Jose Miguel Carrera, who uh, they actually didn't really like each other very much, and there's a lot of crazy like uh, drama and beef in the history between them. We're probably going to make a whole video about that, no joke. Um, <laughs> I won't get into it now, but like I went down a rabbit hole of doing some research before I came here, and whew, 
there's a lot of stuff went on between <laughs> between uh, Bernardo O'Higgins and Jose Miguel Carrera, that's for sure. So of course we saw pictures of both of them in the uh, when we visited the history museum, the Museo Nacional. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to go through and look on the video and translate what this what these signs say, but. I'm going to go ahead and say that O'Higgins and San Martin and Carrera were all Masons. Which, if so, it's pretty interesting. It'd be crazy. Fernando Emilio Daza Osorio. Osorio. Well, I recognize that name. But it's probably a pretty common surname. I only recognize that name because that's the name of like the general uh, who was in charge of the Spanish forces, at the Battle of uh, Rock Run Run Cagua. Anyway, it's, it's the the battle that we talked about, the, the disastrous battle in uh, in Chile that forced O'Higgins and and Carrera also to like go back across the uh, the Andes and meet up with Jose de San Martin in Mendoza and then have to reform an army and then go back over the Andes. We're probably gonna make a video about that. Honestly, there, there, there's, a, there's a lot of, uh, of history there to make the video about. We mentioned it a little bit in our videos about Argentina, but we gotta make that, that video for Chile now that we're here in Chile. Here's a, some music, hymns, and a piano or an organ maybe, harpsichord, I don't know, a musical instrument with keys, and uh, oh, here you go, okay, so, masonry in Chile, presidentes masones, mason presidents, so, there he is, Jose Miguel de Carrera, Jose Miguel de la Carrera y Verdugo. This is the guy. So he was a Mason. Says so right here, in the Mason Museum. Officially. Bernardo O'Higgins. Also, officially. <laughs> officially a Mason. And then, these are, this is more modern. Like uh, Manuel Jose Blanco y Calvo de Encalada. Man, I just gotta say, old Spanish dudes, and, and like, they, they had, cool names, man. He had a nice long name, Manuel Jose Blanco y Calvo de Encalada. It's a great name. I wonder if you feel like inadequate if you meet this guy and your name's like Joe Smith. And then you're like, hi, Joe Smith. He's like, hola, Manuel Jose Blanco y Calvo de Encalada. Okay, now we take a big jump, 1920. So from eight, in 1826, the last president of the Republic of Chile was a Mason, and then not another one until 1920 with Arturo Fortunato Alessandri Palma, also a great name. Now we just like to say, going back here, Jose Miguel de la Carrera y Verdugo, he was president of Chile before it was independent. He was like president, sort of serving in charge of the col the colony of Chile. We'll talk more about that in the video about him, which I swear I'm going to make. And if I don't, well, you can flame me in the comments of this video. Why didn't you make that video? Carlos Ibanez del Campo, 1927. 1938. I wonder why there was this long gap from 1826 all the way to 1920, like a hundred years where there was no president who was a Mason. It's interesting. Pedro Avelino Aguirre Cerda, 1938. 1942, Juan Antonio Rios Morales. 1946, Gabriel Enrique Gonzalez Videla. And then again, 1970, Allende. I don't understand what this. <laughs> There's a, well, like a film playing over here, and I, I don't understand what it's saying. But here, this is really interesting. I did not know Salvador Allende 
Allende is a mason. That's really interesting. I'm working up on a video that's going to include Allende, a lot of, uh, about Allende. I don't know if it's going to be specifically about him, but it's going to be a lot of stuff in, about him in, in a video in the future, so keep an eye out for that. Hopefully it'll all come together. You know, I, I was thinking that I should stop announcing like what videos I'm going to make, because sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes things are closed and I can't film them, or I don't end up with enough for a whole video. And then, you know, I've announced it and I don't actually end up doing it. But you know what? Screw it. I'm going to make a video that is going to include a lot of stuff about Allende. Because he's, I mean, come on. He's obviously very, very important to the history of Chile. And we're here in Santiago, so we got to do it. Anyway, getting sidetracked. What are all these things? Certificates of something? See, now here's the thing. <laughs> reading in Spanish, already hard for me. Now it's reading in cursive in Spanish? Forget it. Are you kidding me? Forget it. There's no way. There's no way. I have no idea what any of these things mean or what they are. They're certificates of something. Let's see over here. Oh, uh, honorary member diploma. Oh, maybe this is like what they give you when you become a. Uh, when you become a mason, they give you one of these things. They put your name on it, stamp it, while they're wearing those those bibs that we saw over there and hitting stuff with crystal mallets. Mm. Oh, look at this. Holy cow. Oh, okay. So this is what it is. It's not a bib. It's like uh, they wear it around their waist. It's part of the part of the whole the whole thing. That makes sense. This one, Matt, this, yeah. Can you? Gran. I guess this is like the Gran, Gran Maestro is to wear this one. I don't know. I would say that like, if I was a Mason and someone else was a Mason and they got to wear that one and I only got to wear this one, I would be, I would be a little upset. <laughs> I'd be a little upset, I'm not going to lie. I think that's it. The, right, right on the other side of where that screen is, where it's playing everything, is the door where we came in, so... I think we've seen everything. Alright, but... What should we remember about this? We should remember that officially... We have found out... That... Bernardo O'Higgins... And... Jose Miguel Carrera, that they were both officially Masons, according to the, the Mason Museum, La Gran Logia, uh, La Gran Logia, El Logia, hmm, well, according to the Lodge, oh, no, La Gran Logia. According to the museum in La Gran Logia de Chile, they were both officially Masons and, even though I don't quite understand what these signs say, there is strong evidence that Jose de San Martin was also a Mason because they have like a, a bust of him here and he's in like pictures over here on the board, his name is there. That's him, I think. I think that's him. Dapper looking gentleman. All right, I think we've learned a good amount. What did we learn? We learned that officially, Jose de San Martin, Bernardo O'Higgins, and uh, Jose, Jose Miguel Carrera, they were all Masons, and interestingly, Salvador Allende, also a Mason. So I guess there really is a long history of masonry here in Chile. All right. Well, I think it's time to get out of here. Let's go.